what's up what's up creatives this is mr creative and welcome back to my channel yes so it has been a very long time yeah i was just cooking some um content for you guys yes the channel is growing faster yes and if this is your first time coming to the channel i want you to like the video subscribe to the channel because we are back yes we need your subscription and so yeah so today as, as you can judge by the title we are looking at how to create the cartoon effect yes you are going to create the cartoon effect in just two minutes yes i said two minutes it's quite simple now let's this is the image you are going to use today so let's go on to the video yes so if you have your background i just created in any size of the background looking at how the picture is a portrait so i just went to with this background yes so i'm going to import the image and we are going to create the cartoon effect so you can count yourself in yeah so you can take your pc and be doing it as you're watching yeah so this is what you are going to do first off you are going to take off the background yeah and i've been teaching you guys this thing over and over again the easy way to cut out backgrounds yeah you don't have to you know use the pen to and other things no 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 what you have to do is you come to the layer panel right click and then rasterize the image yes when you rasterize the image there are two things you can do to remove the background you can use the magic wand to yeah and then you select the background image yes but this time around because the image has a little bit of pink and other things it will affect yeah if you use the magic wand to it will take off some part of the cloth the coat the person is wearing so we are not going to use this one so you come to the property layer and you see quick actions yes quick actions you have remove background select subject so we click on remove background and wait for the magic wait for the magic yes so it's going to take off the background completely and perfectly yes that is oh my pc is running so slow yes 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 all right so let's wait for it to finish loading and it does the work perfectly good so now you can select you can see when you come to the side of the image you can the right side yeah, or the left side like this in between you can see some bits of the background so you can use the magic wand to select that side and click delete and it will take away that background and select click on ctrl d to deselect and we are good to go so let me increase the image size like so yes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate it so that you see the before and after i can even work with this yes so let me duplicate the image yes so i'll do then turn off the first one now this the the one i've duplicated now you have to come to filter and then you have to convert this image to smart filters yes yeah you can go straight and do your cartoon effect bar just in case you feel, uh, if you go straight with it and then there is a problem you can't correct it so you have to convert it to smart filters so that if after creating your cartoon effect and you feel that the adjustment is not good you can still go back to correct it yes so let, let's convert the image into smart filters okay we are done so after that now let's go back to filter and choose filter gallery yes filter gallery and click on it once i've done the cutout effect already it is going to load onto the image yes i'm sure yeah. it's going to load into the image let me reduce the size to let's say 50. let's wait for my pc to load the image yes yeah so you see now let me turn on the cutout effect i've turned it off because i've done it already that's why so what you have to do is you when you open 
the filter gallery you are going to get artistic you're going to get brush stroke you're going to get distort you're going to get sketch you're going to get style light you're going to get texture but these are all uh, filters that you can add on your pc yes you can add on any image when creating a design but today we're going to look at cutouts so you have cutouts here you select it you have colored pencil then you have cutouts you have dry brush film green fresco new blue and other things but today we are going with cutouts so you select cutout now these are the number of levels edge simplicity edge fidelity so what you are supposed to do is the edge simplicity set it to zero the edge fidelity is set it to one and then the number of levels now this thing it depends on the size of the image if you increase it too much then you have to come and change the settings again i mean adjust the settings yes you have to adjust the settings so that but this the way i've it increase the size of the image i have to set these are the settings that i can use to get the perfect yes yeah, so i'll show you something look let's move on so i have you set your number of levels to seven Edge simplicity to zero fidelity to one yes and then you click ok and let's wait for it to load oh I've, sorry i have turned it off sorry i've turned the cutout effect off here yeah, you can see it here let me turn it on rather i turned it off guys sorry yes so voila yes so let's go so uh, you see i've not changed it i just turned it off yeah i turned it off again okay so we are good to go now let me click ok and voila so we have the cutout effect the cartoon effect in place yes so this one you can increase it to make it more cartoonish yes you want to make it more cartoon so this is what i'm talking about if you don't convert it to smart filters and you apply it means if it doesn't go well you can't change it but with the smart filters i can still I can still go back to the filter gallery and adjust the settings. Yes, I adjust the settings. If you want to make it more cartoonish, then you, you can you have to increase the edge simplicity. So I have to if I increase it right now. Yes, you see the effect that I'm getting is making it more cartoonish. Yes, but if I reduce it, I get this kind of feel. Let's wait for it to load. If you increase the edge simplicity to let's say eight or seven or something, it will make it more cartoonish or something. But if you leave it at zero, yes, you can play around with this design. And guys, it is as simple as that. So this is the after, and let me turn. This is the after. This is before. The after, before. We are good to go. So guys. If you found this video helpful, kindly share, like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. We out.